Hello, my friends. I'm Jean-Luc Traxel from Switzerland. Uh, I'm actually living really next to the Swiss Alps uh, and I love my country. And that's where actually the Lord called me to bring the gospel to this generation. At the age of five, I didn't understand everything, but I felt strongly I have to give my life to this wonderful Jesus. Uh, I surrender, I repent of the sin that I've done. I didn't kill anybody or did bad things, uh, but I really recognized uh, I was a sinner uh, and I never step back and was faithful from that time and I never regret because it's so beautiful to serve the Lord. At the age of six, I get baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire, heaven just opened, opened my life. The fire of God came over me and he called me to preach the gospel to the nations of the world. And at the age of 16, I started this journey with this wonderful Holy Spirit who became my best friends and who is my best friends. And then I started to preach the gospel in my little village, in my regions, reaching one by one and having my first healing meeting when I was 18 years old. And then the crowd started to grow. We ran stadiums. But the most amazing things was the presence of Jesus. I'm so hungry, so thirsty of Jesus. And actually, when I was very young, I had the first encounter with this wonderful Jesus. Jesus. Uh, uh, angels brought me to heaven. I entered to the new Jerusalem and I saw the glory of God. I heard the sound. The music that we have today is nothing comparing to what's on heaven. It's glorious, fantastic, unique sounds, uh, but also the color is beautiful. And they brought me that I was able to see the Lord face to face. Uh, this experience changed my life uh, and more than ever, I became hungry and thirsty of Jesus. Uh, and that's how I started to preach about Jesus, to say to the friends, and as I'm telling to you today, Jesus is the most amazing God. Uh, he's not a religious Jesus, he's a real Jesus, full of love, full of compassion. And when you see him, when you see his eyes, uh, you see see his smile, you smell him even, it's just glorious. And today I invite you to open yourself, open your spirit to this wonderful Jesus, want to reveal himself to your own life. And I will never forget, a few years ago, the Lord spoke to me to bring French people to Israel. It was the first time I've done that. Actually, I brought 500 French people with our ministries. We arrived there. We were welcomed by the mayor and the ministers of tourism. And we started to travel to visit the different places. But I want to be honest with you. I wanted to go especially to one place. Of course, I want to see the empty tomb. I wanted to see these different places where Jesus was moving, teaching, and doing miracles, but the major place I wanted to see, it was the pool of Bethesda. When I arrived over there, I left the group, the guy, the guide was explaining what was happening there. So I left them because I wanted to see one thing. I wanted to meet the healing angel. By God's grace, I have some connection with the angels. Regularly I see them. They are helping me in the healing ministries. But I never been before that time to the pool of Bethesda. So when I arrived there, I started to make the tour, looking where is today the healing angel. And I turn and I couldn't find it. I try again, I look behind, I look to the different places. I couldn't see the healing angel. I was about to leave the place very disappointed, but also saying, okay, Lord, where is this healing angel? But when I was about to leave the place, suddenly I saw physically, face to face, my wonderful Savior, Jesus. Jesus himself, physically he was there. I saw him. And I look at on his face uh, because that's where I recognize him. I recognize his face, but he was crying. I said, Jesus, uh, what are you doing here? And why are you crying? And he said, Jean-Luc, uh, I'm here because I want to heal the sick, uh, but they don't see me and they don't have the time that I can heal them. 
I said, Jesus, I'm so sorry for that. Uh, please give me a few minutes. Uh, I want just to go to this church. Uh, there is a beautiful church to this place. Uh, so I ran to the place. Uh, it was packed with people. I went to the priest. I said, priest, uh, I have a request. Uh, I didn't say that I saw the master because I didn't want to manipulate. Uh, I want just to say, I believe the Lord want to heal today. This priest that I honor highly, he said, oh, we don't have the time. We need to run regarding the program. I was so disappointed. I went to another group and I went to their pastor and with a big group, I said, I feel the Lord want to heal the sick today. I said, we cannot, we have not the time not to pray for the sick. We need to go to take the bus. I started to cry. I ran outside. I went back to the Lord Jesus who was still on the place uh, crying. I said, Jesus, I now understand your feeling and I'm so sorry as we are too busy with our religious things and program. We are so sorry. I'm so sorry. But Jesus, uh, tomorrow night uh, I'm going to be in Jerusalem. I rent the big hall on the Ramat Rahel and people will come. I know there will be Jewish people, Orthodox people, Catholic, even Muslim. They will be there on that place. And I invite you specially to become my VIP member to come as a guest speaker. Would you come? And Jesus smiled at me and he said, I will come. I was like a little kid. I said, Jesus, I go to prepare myself. I'm waiting you tomorrow night for this wonderful healing service. I went to the hotel room. I left the people and I went to my knees, not to make a good preparation of my teaching of preaching, but I went on my knees to have this relation with my precious Jesus through the Holy Spirit. And I prepared myself to be sure that when Jesus will enter the building, I will be able to recognize him. So I pray, I seek his face, and I was ready. Now the night is coming, arrived to the place. It was overpacked, packed with, I don't know how many people. It was packed, overpacked, and many unsafe people. So we started the worship, the presence of God was there. It was wonderful. And then suddenly I had to preach but I was looking for the moment. So I started to sing all the glory of the Lord. And as we were singing this beautiful song, suddenly I saw the back door getting open and guess who entered? Jesus, the Lord of Lord, himself physically. He entered the building, he arrived to the place and then he started by the back by touching the people. And I will never forget that. Started to touch one of the guy who had a destroyed shoulder. Instantly the shoulder get recreated and healed. And then he turned to somebody who had a trouble with the knees. It was like also something missing with the, the ligaments. And I saw the Lord doing like a surgery and making this man well. And me, I was just explaining to the people, to the big crowd, Jesus is in this place, he's doing this miracle, this miracle. It was just next there, a man who was totally deaf unbelievers uh, who came from France uh, just because he said it's a good good trip to visit Israel but he never thought he will see or experience the power and the presence of Jesus himself uh, and the Lord touched him and I saw he removed things out of his ear and then the ears get open the man said I can hear I can hear and the miracle started to took place. The glory of the Lord invade this room, this Rama trial. And suddenly I saw Jesus turning, running around, and he went to the other place, to the other part of the building, where we brought a lady on a wheelchair. She couldn't walk. No, everybody prayed for her. She was never able to walk. Jesus, with a beautiful smile, just gave the hand to this lady and he brought her out of the wheelchair and she started to run and to dance. 
That was amazing, my friends. This experience changed my life. And that's how I want to invite you today. I invite you not to seek the Lord where He is not. The Lord is not a religious Lord. It's not about religion. It's about really the Son of the living God who is amazing, who is beautiful. His face is shining, His eyes. Oh, if you will be able to see His eyes, they are the most beautiful beautiful eyes that you cannot describe in English or even not in French as it's my la native language. They are beautiful fire coming out of himself. And that's what the Lord want to do. He want to reveal himself as the real living Jesus. Jesus died 2000 years ago and he rose again that whoever today call upon the name of Jesus shall be saved. If you never gave your life to Jesus, this is the day of salvation. Open your heart and just say, Yeshua, the Messiah, I need you. I repent from every sin. I put my faith in you and I ask you to become my only Lord, my only Savior. As you do that, I feel the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit coming over you to reveal you this real Jesus who is willing to live in you, who is willing to become your friends, your Lord, your God, but he's willing to have fellowship, he's willing to be your best friends, and that you can have it right now. That's why I want to pray for you, that you can now enter a new season of being hungry and thirsty, not of the religious act activities, which is not bad, but the real deal is Jesus, Jesus only. I pray, Lord God, for all the viewers. Oh God, I've seen you a few times. Even recently, I was able to touch your face. Oh, that's so beautiful. And very soon, we're gonna be with you forever. But before that, you are with us through the Holy Spirit. And I pray that every viewers, they may have an encounter personal encounter of Jesus and they can hear your voice, they can feel you, they can feel your breath coming out of your mouth, coming out of your nostril, they can smell the beautiful perfume that you carry, they can hear your voice, they can touch your skin, they can touch you and that's the way you will change their life. In Jesus' name, I bless you, friends, and I release what I received. I release that over you in Jesus' name. And I want to say that if you are sick, this Jesus is so alive and is ready to heal you right now. Whatever is your sickness, whatever is your disease, me, I can do nothing except having faith in him. And today I have a great faith, unshakable faith, believing that nothing is impossible for God. So if you are sick, if you have a cancer, terminal disease, incurable disease, or whatever is your sickness right now, why don't you take your hand and put it on the part of your sick body? And as you put your own hands on the part of your body, it's like a point of contact between your need, the faith I have in God, and this wonderful Jesus who died not only for our sin, but also for our sicknesses. And through his stripes, there is reeling right now. In Jesus' name, I command every pain, every disease to leave these bodies every infection, inflammation has to quit in Jesus' name. I command every virus, virus, in, yeah, terminal disease, I command you to die and to be removed in Jesus' name. I command every growth, cancer to disappear. I release the power of the Holy Spirit to the blood system, the nerve system, the brain system. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I feel on this show there is many people where the Lord through his hands, because he's a great surgeon, is removing kissed growth like brain tumor. These last days, last weeks, we have major breakthrough about that. I do believe the Lord is doing that for you in Jesus' name. God bless you. And not forget that Jesus is alive and is willing to reveal himself to your life. God bless you.